All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, return a value from a function with return. So we've discussed previously that we can pass values into a function with arguments. Uh, and we can also use a return statement to send a value back out of a function. For example, uh, function plus three, and then we have num for the parameter, will return uh, num plus three. So when this is done and we do, when we call it like this, or actually when we assign it to answer like this, it's gonna give us the value of eight because whatever num we put in there, in this case is gonna be five, uh, we're gonna add three to it, right? So let's reiterate this. The answer is going to have the value of eight. And then plus three takes an argument for num right here and returns the value equal to num plus three, this right here, all right? Uh, so now we're going to create a function times five that accepts one argument, multiplies it by five, and then returns the new value. Okay. So over here, we'll do the function. We'll declare the function first by saying function. And then we'll say plus, whoops, that's not how you spell it plus five, no, times five, times five, like that. We'll have the uh, parentheses right there. And inside here, we'll do num just like the other one, right? And so right here, we'll say, um, actually, let's do something different. Number, just so, just to prove the point that you can have anything as your uh, parameter, right? So right here, we're gonna say return, uh, what is it, number? times five, so we'll say times five, like that. So let's come down here and say uh, console.log, and we'll do, we'll call the function by saying times five, and we'll say five, how about that? And you see down here, it gives us 25 because five times five equals 25, right? So let's run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to global scope and functions, and we'll see you next time.